Real YouTube is fight when what the heck? <clears throat> fight Winona. They gave Winona three legendary birds. <clears throat> also, Aerodactyl and Flygon and Crobat. <clears throat> hello, hello. Um, sorry about my throat. It appears that it is um protesting against my use of it. Anyway, hello, what's going on gamers? Today we're playing against Winona. Uh, I'm playing I'm with Kaizo. Obviously, we're pretty far into the run at this point. This is my ninth run um of the game. This is an incredibly, incredibly hard Pokemon ROM hack of uh Pokemon Emerald. There's lots of things at play here. Um, there's no EVs uh, available to either player. Um, the opponent is perfect IVs. Um, you don't have your your IVs are just regularly random. Um, it's overall a really really interesting, challenging part of the game. And if you haven't already, I recommend watching some of my earlier content. Um, everything up to this point uh, has been available on YouTube so far. If you are curious how we got here, and um, yeah, also I'm streaming challenge runs of Pokemon and other things regarding Pokemon on Twitch. Um, normally Monday through Friday or in the afternoons Eastern time, so feel free to check it out. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's jump into the video. Okay, no crits, no crits. Don't crit me. <sighs> I'm wiping. Zero deaths, Shelly. On all of Other Institute, we lost one Dust Fox. It's a fair trade, I think. Okay, I just switched out. Here's the issue, chat. What? I was in crit range? Should be a grass punch somewhere. There it is. Alright, chat, I think we were- oops, well. Okay, Dodrio. Uh, okay, Dodrio, Dodrio, Dodrio. I didn't repel. Oh yeah, I didn't mean to run into it that fast. I even had an intimidate lead. Um, it's okay though. Average, it's fine, right? Better than bad. At least we got. Uh oh. No, only, only, oh I kind of wish I brought our mole. Wait, why did I. Oh, yeah, our mole was not. Um, we should fly. Um, just want to do this. There's some bad encounters here. Okay. I should not have been using speed up. What? It read me? It <laughs> still winged me? <laughs> okay, I'm actually dead to crit. Um, I really guess I go into. Porygon. I have Porygon dies, it's fine, right? Uh, Tri-Tech probably doesn't kill, but Porygon is so bad. There's no way Tri-Tech kills, right? Okay. I don't think I can use this thing anymore. Let's go Golem again. Why every time I switch in does it correctly predict that I'm switching in? Uh oh. Okay. Makes me nervous, truthfully, into a Kingdra here. It pre it reads me every time. Wait, what is the catch rate on this thing? Uh oh. I don't think I can take a crit. Um, all right, nose goes down. Ah! Every time. Dog. <laughs> Dog. Every time I switched in, it used the. I'm gonna lose Arcanina here. It crit me again. Okay, what do I do? Stantler's useless, I guess. I'm dead to crit. What do I do? It's gonna wipe my whole team. Oh my god. Dog, I hate this thing. Do not, do not, do not. Sandler isn't useful anyway. Uh, dude, para, give me the para. I'm dead. No, I'm living? I'm dead. I really don't want to use Golem. Okay. Dog, get in the ball. Why don't you damage it? If I damage it, I might kill it. I hate this so much. Okay. Get in the ball. I'm not running, chat! I hate this thing. I hate it so much. Just catch! Dog! Dodrew, get in the ball. Dog. Is cage rate is 10? <gasps> okay. I hate this thing. I mean, it's probably better than Nose Pass, right? Still, that was not a good... Sloppy. Okay, Route 120, welcome. Okay. 
This is a double battle, but it's avoidable. Dodrio is the lead with choice band. All right, this should be Dodrio every day of the week. Okay. Should, I feel like this is Hyper Beam. Oh wait, this thing doesn't have Tri Attack, right? No, this is Quick Attack. Uh, it's probably Drill Pack here, unfortunately, but it's fine. I can't get crit. All right, should be Hyper Beam. Uh, it's a, yeah, actually Hyper Beam is the best. Right, bad, but this is still a two shot or a three shot. Because I can't get crit, which is awesome. I can lost side for the kill. Can't get crit, so it's good, man. Planning to catch ghosts? I can't really plan against anything. I would like to catch a ghost. Well, it's their strongest move. It's a little unfortunate, but I should be frozen. Yeah, it doesn't do very much. Um, let me look up the stats of Zoltaria, see what we're working with here. Dugong is actually faster and Ice Beam kills, so let's just do that. Which just brings Swallow. Robert Swallow. Um, Silk Scarf? Gut. Crits doesn't kill me. Swallow, yeah, Coordinate is the strongest move. Crit to 60%. Stand. See what you do. 29.4% max. Bye bye. Okay. Alright, cool. One down. I need to go. I don't think this is a huge deal to get, but maybe it'll be helpful. Compared to Dodrio, that was so easy. Bye-bye. Thanks for the ride, Steven. Wait, it changed my attack IV back. Oh my god, that's where some of my ca that's why I lost Gyarados. This is guaranteed. No! What? It says it's guaranteed! What? That shouldn't be possible! If you do this on showdown, it will manually when you put in moves, if you put in moves after you put in the Pokemon, it will manually change your offensive stat back to 31. Oh my god, that's why. I thought he, I thought I was just lazy. No, it's showdown that did it. Chat, we have a Pretty good chance here. We have a 40, 4 out of 7, better than 4 out of 7 chance to get a really good Pokemon here. But 30% of the time, we're getting something really bad, like Zangoose, or Tangela. Magic, okay. Or Lanoon. Alright, not- I have like a very low chance for Tangela or Lanoon. Oh, please show me Scyther. Show me Scyther. That's a 1% encounter. I didn't even plan for this. Wait, I didn't plan for this. Uh-oh. Wait, hold on, 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 hold on. Um, my issue is I- my- Arcanine is my best mod to sit in front of this thing. I guess I could have crunched it a couple times. I just got nervous. Not needed. Alright! Alright, 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 alright. Scissor, you carry me once to a national title? Can you carry me here too? Do I even need your repel? I don't, right? I can just stay here in Old Rod. Okay, here we go. Shiny Grimer. You're guaranteed muck? I'm guaranteed Grimer or muck. Wow. Oh, that's kind of like a cool little background. Uh oh. <laughs> what is this? Me playing BGC, but I'm the Grimer? <laughs> uh oh. Oh, I resist ghost. Oh my god, stupid new brain VGC. Uh oh. Come on. Get in the ball. Oh, wow. That works. All right, cool. Wait, is the creator of the is the creator of the uh, ROM hack actually here? Supposedly, that's awesome. Wait, I've actually I, can I just say, like this is so well made. Like legitimately, I'm so impressed. So like because okay, I have no I have no um I have no concept of like how to make a ROM hack or anything. But I want to say that like so many of the things that I as a competitive player want to abuse, like to trick the AI and make this easier for myself. Uh, have been removed from the game, and that's that to me is a sign of like a lot of um, a lot of like forward thinking, which is really cool to see. Um, because like I don't know in VGC for example, like uh, like a lot of the time I can be like, oh this seems broken, and like the creator like the like the the just the game balancers like just like allow it to happen, and it's like okay, cool, like this is fine. Um, but like for example, removing manual weather, removing um, protect, like I would have abused the heck out of protect. If I had protect, this would have been like easy game, right? I'm really, I'm really impressed with it. So, so if if it is, regardless of if you're the creator or not, I think it's a really well done game, and I'm, I'm very impressed with it. Yeah, no boosting moves, like no volt absorb, no water absorb. Uh, I did think it was kind of weird to like say that volt absorb lantern is in the game and not actually have it, but like I guess I'm, you know, it's not for. Uh... 
Oh, Volby gets Protect? I guess it doesn't really help me, though. I thought, like, I need something good with Protect. Volt Absorb Lantern doesn't exist. Uh, no, this is, honestly, Emerald Kaizo doesn't really feel like VGC to me. It feels like one part of VGC, but not, not what most people play. It reminds me more of Draft League. I think we're ready for the first trainer. Citrus, 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 Mystic Water, Citrus. All right, chat. <sighs> Makes me very nervous, not gonna lie. I brought a very high value team. So we're gonna have to pray that this works. Oh, let's do prediction. This is 10%, this is a guaranteed kill. All right, let's find out. We'll put calcs correctly, agree. When I, I updated, I have the wrong level in my prime app, so I had to manually update it every time. And when you update the level, it changes the HP that it's at. It's on the nerve. Okay, no ancient power. This is power flying, earthquake, or double edge. Could be any of them. Okay. Uh, never did one crit into, or no crit into crit. I'm also no dead to. They need no. They need crit into quick clock crit. Okay, double edge is fine. We need to fake out here. Okay, no crit. Just gotta check that. That did 44. I mean, to crit does like 88. It's just enough damage to make sure that surf is a guaranteed kill. They got the... Okay, actually, okay, they Quick Claw Ancient Power boost. Okay, got the Quick Claw crit, but no boost. Oh, I'm in Torrent range. I'm in Torrent range. Okay, Quick Claw crit is really scary, and that means Blastoise is now dead. That's also really bad. They got Quick Claw crit because now Flygon can't... It's not guaranteed Thunderbolt. Okay. It's not great. It could be... This is random move now. Um, But it's still okay because... I just have to believe it's going to be Thunderbolt. Okay, fine. Brick Break does. No crit? Okay, I'm still not dead to Surf Crit. So it's fine. Yeah, I wasn't dead to Surf Crit there. <sighs> Yummy. Okay, that's gonna be a problem, chat. It's gonna be a real problem. Why did it switch? Okay. This is bad for two reasons, chat. There's two reasons why this is bad. The first is, I because this got crit, I can no longer, this one crit means I can't pivot in to like it, into it and then go muck. And it also means that my Flygon didn't kill the Raichu and just now it has damage. Just don't freeze me, bro. Just do not freeze me. Never did to crit. But I guess let's find let's double check my let's double check my math, huh? Why don't we just double check my math, Chad? I, I agree. I think that's a great idea. Why don't we just double check my math? Okay. And because of the crit, I am now random moved in. Unfortunately. When this should not be random move. This should never be random move, except for the fact. It is random move because of the crit. So now it could be hidden power ground. Which is really unlikely, but it is possible. Please do not be hidden power ground. Okay, that's fine. Same situation. Okay. Just leftovers, did not realize that. <sighs> I'm theoretically dead to hidden power ground crit here. So I have to rock slide. Yeah, hidden power ground crit could kill me. Pidgeot's only 115 speed though, so actually this is alright. Because the Rock Slide doesn't kill most of the time. It's like a roll to kill. Oh wait, I was, 50, I was talking about 53. Yeah, it doesn't kill, that's okay though. Because it's guaranteed in power ground here, right? It's guaranteed in power ground, which actually gives me a safe switch into Mence. Its ability is early bird, it's not relevant here. It should be in power ground regardless. Okay. I have air slash kill. Okay. Chat, this is one of the big moments. Are they gonna quick clock crit me here? Nope. Bye bye. Okay. Now we need to figure out if I can beat Raichu because I'm actually not sure what the answer is. Uh, it doesn't have fake out, right? Hidden power flying, surf, T bolt. It's definitely rock slide here. Okay, just do not get the crit. 
Just don't get the one crit roll. Okay, cool. And now Rock Slide's guaranteed kill. I never misses in this game. This item is Lumberry. All right. I think we manage our odds pretty well there, but it's still really dangerous. So this first mod, it's it's three Bright Powder, one Quick Clock Explosion mod. Bright Powder will cost him a one. Uh oh. Um, how many? I'm not weak to Bright Powder Lantern. Am I weak to? Uh, I'm kind of weak to Bright Powder Clay at all. I'm kind of weak to Bright Powder Scyther. But Lantern is okay. Okay, this is Quick Claw. So let's see. It does not proc. That's the end of Fortress. But I need to level earlier, I didn't have a choice. Uh, I think this is a roll to kill. It's probably Sleep Powder though. This also could just kill, I think. Oh, nice crit. Uh, that was a roll, but we'll take it. Which is nice. So Earthquake, no, this is Guaranteed Ice Beam. Earthquake, okay. Now we have to eat Guaranteed Ice Beam. Um, I don't really have an answer to that, except to pray I don't get frozen. I didn't want to, I couldn't burn Scissor this time. I guess I could have paralyzed it, but I don't know. It's just playing a lot of risks with that. I'd rather risk one freeze. Though I don't actually want to get frozen, to be clear. I prefer no freezes if it's all the same to you, Emerald Kaizo. Okay, cool. All the same to Emerald Kaizo. Okay, X Scissor. Hopefully I don't miss. I don't miss. Okay, this is... I don't think this is a kill. Yeah, pretty close, though. Um, psych Psychic. Oh. Oh, because of the Intimidate. So I'm going to go into this. It's likely Earthquake. Oh, but what if I get Earthquake crit? What if I get Earthquake crit? Oh, no. <laughs> earthquake? Nice. I can see Confusion and Lantern? Oh. That'd be kind of bad. According to this, it's always Dusclops. So I don't actually need Arcanine for the rest of this fight, right? So since this is likely Shadow Punch and I want Luck to be healthy, I'm gonna go Arcanine here. Get the Intimidate down. Should we Shadow Ball? Oh, you trying to play VGC? <laughs> Not today. I'm playing VGC today. <laughs> you fell for my- you activated my trap card! <laughs>, you get shovel? Nice. Okay. Alright, Lantern, your ability is now mine. So ideally this is what? I mean, it's Surfer T-Ball, right? Or Confuser, I guess that's fine too. Um, this is slightly dangerous, although it's not that dangerous, right? Like, because I don't think... I need to make sure Muck doesn't go down to crit. Also, it's always, always surf for T-Bolt, right? Go T-Bolt. Go surf. Okay. Um, does Muck go down to this crit now? Surf crit does not kill me. Okay, I can Ice Beam? Oh, I guess it's range. What item is on my Muck? Oh, my one. Am I one below? It's unfortunate. Ah, um, one below Citrus activating. So I am in range of Surf crit now. It's guaranteed surf for T-Bolt. The issue is, what if it just confuse rays again? I haven't actually helped myself, right? Just random? Okay. I just need to T-Bolt once. Okay, cool. Okay, now this, now we're now we're fine. Now we're out of the loop. I just need to T-Bolt once. Because now, uh, if I ever, if I get confused again, I can just go into Blastoise and then switch back. Okay, it's fine. This is never T-Bolt. Hit the T-Bolt. Surf, that's fine. It's the most damage it has. As long, like, once it does, once it T-Bolts here, we're fine. Okay. Not great. Uh, I can't go over, I don't want to risk Fake Out because of the fact that it's Bright Powder. I'm trying to use only guaranteed accurate moves. This is fine, right? Eventually, uh-oh. It doesn't know about Volt Absorb. Okay, ah, uh, holy cow. Oh my god. Okay, that was really stupid. Never punished. Forgot about Volt Absorb. Forgot about Volt Absorb. Okay. I mean, it wasn't a kill, but it could have crit me, right? Oh my god, my heart's going so fast. Okay. Never punished, never punished, never punished. I mean, it was like a one and three, one and two. Uh, okay, we can't feel good about that one. We just got lucky. Actually, it's server's more strong than Thunderbolt. Oh, actually, no, it's not. Okay, yeah, I was just lucky. Yeah, and that was really bad. I forgot that- I forgot that it doesn't know about Volt Absorb once I switch. 
like 20 damage ish. So 21, 18 to 21 or something. If it confuses, it's always air slashing, right? So I can use that information to switch. No crit is good. Okay. I have a 90% chance of winning the game with the rock slide. Yeah, it's VGC now. Okay. Okay. I'm never dead to crit. Okay. Now I'm dead to crit. Um. I only I'm only dead to bright powder plus. I'm only dead to bright powder plus um crit right. And I don't think I have another option here. Like my, my other option is go Arcanini, who was in the same situation. So I have to rush that again. Okay. I didn't have another play there. I had to risk mems. The odds of me hitting one of those is so good. All right, chat, here we go. Dragon Tamer Sora. Imagine you're Winona, you're just like watching. <laughs> like, I feel like it'd be really weird to like watch. Like, you're like, I'll oh, stop you before Winona. And Winona's just like sitting there. Maybe she's super self-conscious. I have speed, I one shot. Didn't count this, but I'm pretty sure I one shot. Bye bye. Okay, I'm too slow, so I can't kill the mens, but I need to avoid overleveling anyway. Or the septile, excuse me, not the mens. Okay, we really want this to be Dragon Claw. Not. Not Grass Whistle. Grass Whistle to Grass Whistle gets very iffy very fast. Assuming they hit both. Show me Dragon Claw. Okay, cool. Perfect. Scizor, you're my friend. Welcome back. I didn't. Oh no, I did count. So I killed. Okay, cool. Grass was the next. It's fine. Chest of Beeb. Nice job, Caesar. All right, this is a quarter of Septile's experience. Next up is Mence. We have to dodge one. Kill, 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 kill. Okay. We have to dodge one crit on Earthquake. Okay, there's Intimidate. All right, Grumpig. Frankly, you've been good at times. You have not been good every time, but we really need you now. We have been saving you for a rainy day. Flame is allowed to crit, it just opens me up for a uh, crit earthquake. And burn we have berry for. There's not crit. Okay, let's reassess. That did 22 damage. So let's see how many rolls is Grumpig dead to here of crit earthquake. It's not like I could do anything, but I'd like to know what my odds are here. It's less, it's a slightly more than 50% chance with a crit. This is kind of, kind of sketch, I'm not gonna lie to you. But I have to go for Psychic. Okay, don't crit, do not crit me. Do not crit me. Let's go Grump Pig, okay? I need this to be a high roll. Show me a drop. Shoot. I forgot about leftovers. Uh, I did about 30, 30, that was a high roll. It was about 33%. So now it's at, I think it's gonna be in range. Um. Now this actually is not a guaranteed kill, unfortunately. I think I did forgot about leftovers. However, it's very actually it's gonna be close. Ha! Okay. Wait, that's good. What's the item on this thing? Lumberry. Bye bye. Okay. This is five hundred. Should be five hundred experience. Give me, this should be Mentz, right? Oh no, oh no. Um, well, it's not like I can deal with this thing anyway, right? That switch really messed me up because I don't know how I kill Mentz now. Do not freeze me. Do not freeze me. Four times does this, nine damage, do not freeze me, okay. Um, I'm just ice beaming three times, I think. Show me the freeze. It's fine, no para, do not para me. It's fine, I just need the next one to not para. Okay. Lefties. I just need the next one to not para me. According to this ice cream, should be a guaranteed 3k, although it, yeah, it's probably guaranteed. Yeah, it's guaranteed. Do not para me. Okay, I kill with ice beam. Okay, Kingdra down. How much is Mence at? Five, four hundred more? Gyarados. Okay, this isn't power rock, right? This isn't power rock, so I go Breloom. It's never bounce. It's never ice cream here. This isn't power rock. Okay, now this is always bounce. 
Not much damage. Not bad. Okay, now we go into Ridge Swim. This is Bright Powder, don't forget chat, so this is not over by a long shot. Okay, now Ancient Power. Okay, I hit. Boost doesn't matter here. A crit does. Oh, hold on. Okay. It's just this Mets who just decided, hey, you know what's you know what I like really like is one of my favorite mechanics in Pokemon? It gets the leftovers this turn. Oh no, it messed everything up by getting leftovers. That stupid switch. Why did it switch? It was winning the I don't I don't understand it was winning the exchange. Caesar went to Mets. I need to get one attack off. I'm risking a crit here, I think. Do not crit my Met. Do not crit my Rage Swim. Oh, we did the lower damage roll. I don't think I died to crit now. I would have been dead to crit probably. Okay. Okay. I could sack Grumpig here. Um. Oh, Citrus. Uh. Okay. I think I go Caesar here. And I just need to dodge one more crit and we should be in the clear. Just don't crit me with this. Do not crit me with this. Come on. EQ, okay. Do not crit me. I'm not dead to crit, but it... Okay. It, I don't think it can be Dragon Claw anymore. I don't think it can... I think I can no longer be Dragon Claw. This is guaranteed... Fl uh, guaranteed Flamethrower. Can never be Earthquake. This is guaranteed Flamethrower. That's game as long as I confirm that I'm faster, which I am. Um, and I'm not overleveling. This is a guaranteed flamethrower. Flamethrower? Yep. This is not a physical move, so even burn doesn't hurt me here. Don't get burned. I'm not in range of, uh, I might be in range of D-Claw, but it doesn't matter because I'm faster, it doesn't have bright powder, and I outspeed an Oko with Dragon Claw. I'm faster, there's the Dragon Claw, and I do not overlevel. I do not overlevel here. Because I use like six of my mons versus this thing. It's like one twelfth the damage. Experience. Nothing overleveled. I don't know why it switched on my Grumpig. Like, why did it switch there? It messed up everything. Talk to Winona. Why should I ask her? Like, what should I ask her to schedule uh, our match? Probably Shinja mechanics. What? What Shinja mechanics? What do you mean probably Shinja mechanics? This is the first time I'm hearing about that. Oh, sometimes we should, they have a Pokemon that is immune to the last attack you used. Oh God. Hello, so we're about to fight Winona, and I thought I'd talk you through kind of my plan here. This was one of my more involved plans, and I was really proud of coming up with it. Um, effectively, the way that it works is Winona is a double battle, and so the issue with double battle is that typically the way that you prepare for Emerald Kaizen and the way that you are able to queue, plan, and prep for the important fights in this game is that the AI is predictable when it comes to which Pokemon it sends in next. It basically has to, ha uh, has to do with which Pokemon you currently have out and which Pokemon you just KO'd of your opponent. The issue is that in a double battle, um, the way that it chooses which Pokemon to send out next is a 50-50 between your two Pokemon. So, although ideally what would happen is that both of your Pokemon would make the same of same of your opponent's Pokemon um, consistently, uh, they would both force it. In other words, once you take a KO, the opponent would send out the same one. The reality is that for this fight, I wasn't able to do that because I didn't have the right tools. And so, what that means in a practical sense is that there are split paths when it comes to this specific fight. So the plan was. Lead Breloom and Golem, pre-damage my Breloom, which we'll get to later, um, uh, versus Zapdos Aerodactyl. This always beats Sky Attack from Zapdos and HP Flying from Aerodactyl, and until I can switch my Breloom into my Relicant, it should be about 73% after, uh, after this uh, encounter, and I can head smash the uh, Zapdos for the one-shot, um, um, yeah, with my Golem. Now, um, what will happen then is that it is the first split path, so if the AI looks at... Um, if the AI looks at Golem, it will send in Flygon next. But if it looks at Relicanth, it will send in Moltres. So that's the first split path. So in that situation, you have Breloom out, or you have Relicanth and Golem out, and let's say Flygon comes in. Um, then Flygon will be going for either Giga Drain, probably Giga Drain on both slots. It could, in theory, I think, be Earthquake as well. Um, and Aerodactyl will be going most likely for Earthquake. Um, yeah, should, it should be going for Earthquake because it's the strongest move on both slots, which gives me a free switch into Breloom for the Relicanth slot, slot and the Ments in the, um, in the other slot. And the reason we need to pre damage Breloom is because in this position, we need um, Flygon to be going for Flamethrower and not Dragon Claw, and the only re the only way we can guarantee that it goes for Flamethrower is if Breloom is pre-damaged, which is why we pre-damaged pre it earlier. In some situations where the Flygon like Giga drains the Golem instead of the Breloom or instead of the Relicant slot, then like yeah, like it might not go for Flamethrower. So um, that's why we pre-damaged Breloom. Breloom is on the field. Basically, the, the main strategy here is bait and switch. So we send in Breloom, which um, you know baits 
uh, flying moves, fire moves, that kind of thing. And then we switch it into a rock type, either go uh, Ro Golem or Relicanth, because that resists um, flying and fire. And then we go back into Breloom, which baits, because that baits grass and ground moves, which Breloom resists, excuse me. Um, anyway, yeah, so that brings Breloom immense on the field, which um, versus the Flygon, the Aerodactyl, which allows us to air slash the Flygon and switch Breloom into Relicanth. And then that puts us in a position where it's um, Flygon and Aerodactyl are both targeting down uh, the Breloom slot, so we get to switch into Relicanth relatively safely. And then uh, we can Dragon Claw the Flygon and use a Rock move with Relicanth. And because uh, in this position, Winona will always switch in either Articuno and or Maltrace, um, it is a guaranteed, um, we guarantee get two kills this turn. However, this is the most pivotal turn of the whole fight because this is the one turn where I have to risk a critical hit. Uh, if the Aerodactyl, who is minus one thanks to uh, Mensa's Intimidate, actually, I think it's minus, no, it's just minus one, yeah. Um, if the Aerodactyl crit rock slides my, or crit ancient powers my Mensa this turn, then I would probably wipe here. So yeah, this is like, I, I thought about this a ton and I couldn't find a way to consistently like not risk a critical hit on this turn, which is frustrating. Like I typically try to play in a, in a way that baits like, or that risks zero critical hits, but in this like versus a really hard fight where, you know, like you're already, the odds are kind of already against you. Like I figured one crit was like, all right. So Dragon Claw Flygon, you Ancient Power fl uh, Flygon slot, Dragon Claw KOs, the Flygon Ancient Power comes, it hits the incoming one in gen three. So either Articuno or Maltras come in and then from there, like, I figured I could win the game. I have, like, some rough plans, but I won't go through that. So this is this is back to the early game. We've KO'd the Zapdos. The situation is relative to Golem on the field, and the opponent's just sent out Moltres. So in this position, I can go hard. I can double out into Mench Bloom, same as before. I'm baiting Hidden Power of Grass, I believe, uh, on the on both slots, so I can go into my Grass Resist both times. Um, and by getting Bloom on the field, I then bait... Um, Flying moves into the room slot, so I can switch back into Relicanth, click Rock Slide, and do half, like, half to Moltres and 40% Aerodactyl, and then um, Rock Slide again for the KO, go back into Relicanth, that brings his flag on, and then um, this one is a bit more situational because it depends on what the Aerodactyl has been doing this time, like, or it depends on how healthy Mence is, because I think the flag on, in theory, could Dragon Claw versus. No, I can't Dragon Claw. Yeah, it, it, like, there's some variance here because it depends on, like, how much HP Mence had when switching in. Um, but yeah, basically from here, um, it just switches up the order a little bit, though the flagon comes in earlier. So I have like conditional plans here in terms of like, if Mence is healthy, uh, I can switch to Berlum and Dragon Claw. If Mence is damaged though, I have to switch into Blastoise and Caesar. Yeah, so Blastoise and Caesar are here for late game and, and for some continuity plans as well. But basically the, the primary thing is to base the strategy around Mence um, and the Rock and, and, and Rel Relicanth as well. So um, yeah, sorry, I know that was a bit hard to follow, but uh, and that was just a pretty quick overview of the plan that I made, but there's a bunch of split paths and I, I in theory, have planned for all of them, but I, there's pretty much in every path, there's gonna be a, a point where the air adapter can crit my Mence where I just don't have an opportunity to, like I don't have any counterplay for that, unfortunately. Um, the Aerodactyl really does like to spam Earthquake is the other thing here. Like even in weird situations, the AI just likes to click Earthquake. So there's no guarantee that it's even going to click um, Ancient Power, but which is another reason why I feel more comfortable like letting that be the Mon that like can crit me. But um, yeah, uh, that's, pretty, that's pretty much the plan. I know there's probably a little bit hard to follow, but if you watch the fight and then you want to come back and see like kind of how my prep uh, reflected what actually happened or where like the, where things like differed, um, then yeah, you have the option too. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the fight. I obviously spent like t a ton of time prepping for this. So um, yeah, enjoy the battle. All right, chat, this is really risky. It's actually not that risky, but it's I, I, like, if I made any mistake or if something goes off the rails, it makes me very nervous, but I think we're ready. Emerald Kaizo. There's only one turn where a crit is super influential. And as long as my planning has been good. Um, we pull up the calc. I'm gonna be constantly rechecking that my numbers are correct here, but the upper loom, no, we're pre damaged on purpose. All right, chat, Winona. <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. All right, Winona, Let's see what you got. Okay, Zapdos plus Aerodactyl. This is always Sky Attack plus Intar Flying. We're gonna head smash one shot to Zapdos. Switch to Relicanth. Right, just one. Alright, Relicanth. You should be at 71% at the end of this encounter. Hopefully, you don't get crit. Intar Flying. Just 10, just like maximum 15%, I think. Okay, not, no crits there. That's good. Sky Attack comes out. Okay, do not crit me, do not crit me, do not crit me. This crit isn't that big a deal, but I just prefer to avoid it. Relicanth is actually kind of important. No crit, nice. I'm at about 71%, which is what I expected. Head Smash just never misses this game, and this goes down. First, flow chart chat. This is gonna tell us where the like this is a this might tell us where the rest of the game goes, depending on if it's Flygon or Moltres. Take I'm at 64 or 64% now. 
Flygon or Moltres? Which one is it? Okay. All right, we know this is now... That means Winona 3 is never used. Winona 2 could still be used, though. This is always Earthquake plus Earthquake or Earthquake plus Giga Drain. Um, I'm, both my mods are, are in Giga Drain range. I'd rather switch Ments into the... It could be Earthquake, Earthquake, right? I go Nap Time in one slot and Ments in the other. I don't think the slots really matter here. It should be Double Earthquake, always. Or, or, or Double Earthquake or Earthquake, Giga Drain. I think it's slightly more likely to be Earthquake, Giga Drain, but it could be Double Earthquake here. All right, Berloom. Wait, our Redoxer doesn't have Nerve, right? There it is. Earthquake comes out, okay. We knew that. That was the guaranteed one. Do not crit me. Do not crit me. Crit me, okay. That's bad. That's really bad. Jigga Drain Ments. That's really bad. Jigga Drain Ments. Okay, ah, uh, you know what? It's in the end. It's alright. It's as if they Jigga Drain Balloon for Loon, because this does no damage. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, that's worth it. It's fine. If they're gonna crit, I'd much rather they crit there. Um, this is the next chance for some variants, because I could get burned, which would make my life very difficult. Um, there's the Orin Berry. I'm in range of Hidden Power Flying and Flamethrower. So I go here? Am I? Wait. Wait, how do I... How do I, um... Am I in range of Dragon Claw because of the crit? That's the question. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. That's so good. I am 3 HP above. That's really good. So uh, I do have more damage than the thing that I would like, but this is always Flamethrower, so I'm just make sure I'm all the way backed out. That's fine. That crit is alright, I guess. Um, okay, I'm on Berloom. This always switches into Reggie Swim. The crit turn is coming up, by the way. There's not here. We could flinch, which would be nice. Flinch here would be nice. It doesn't really matter. It just saves some HP on my... It, it removes the chance for burn. This is HP flying. Um, okay, this next turn... Wow. Flinch? Okay, that's fine. Just do not burn me. If I burn here, I may lose. It's just 10 damage. Does not burn me. <sighs> Chat, this turn is the turn where I can get crit. If I get crit here, I will lose the run. There's no way around it. Um, I couldn't do anything about it. <sighs> this is the most influential turn in the run, and we'd prefer Earthquake here. Ancient Power, please don't crit me. Okay, no crit, no boost, no boost, no boost. Okay. Okay, Mence is alive. This is still really dangerous, but... Um, we didn't get crit, which is, that was like the, the turn I had to risk crit on. This is now guaranteed Moltres or, or Articuno, both are fine. Uh, that's the worst case scenario, but that's alright still. Although actually, I'm not even sure it is the worst case scenario. Is it the worst case scenario or not? It kills the Moltres? Alright, Reggie Swim, good job. Give me the boosh. Any boosh in the chat? Alright, chat. We now know exactly which scenario we want. We're on the hardest, this is like the second hardest Winona. Oh, this turn actually comes in handy here. Oh wait, or does it? Hang on, I gotta do some calcs now. This is Winona 2. Um, the issue with Winona 2 is that Berloom took a lot of damage that I didn't want it to take. Um, it's still okay though, actually. It's actually still okay. Um, Berloom is still alive, as long as I don't get crit one more time. Okay. It's guaranteed ice sharding me here. Okay. Which means I can always go Caesar in for Ments and Berloom in for Relic Reggie Swim, which actually is really good. So Berloom here, Berloom for Reggie Swim. And then Caesar because it takes the Ice Shard, which is really good because I don't have the Freeze Chance anymore. Here. Caesar for- I could get Ancient Power Crit, I guess, but that's still okay because I'm Citrus Berry, right? Oh, they switched in a different order than a current gen. So this is HP Grass, if anything, but I'm pretty sure it's guaranteed Ice Shard because it sees the kill with it and it's a priority move. Ice Shard? Yep! Okay. Uh, there's a lot. Earthquake? Okay. Uh, it's fine as long as I don't get Crit here. Okay, don't Crit me. Okay. I don't need the berry yet, which is okay. Okay. Now this is- okay, let me think about this. We still have Blast as an option. This is always ready Swim, I think, to the, take the Ice Shard, and then stealing into the Articuno slot. Okay. Such a fair bit of damage. HP flying, nice. I have to dodge one more crit in this situation, I think. Although I might ensure Scissor dies to quick crit, truthfully. This doesn't kill? She did a lot of damage. Wait, if I go Ments? I think Register was probably going Ments here, right? It was based Ice Shard, which can get me Blastoise for free, right? If I go Ments with Registrum and I Stealing Arrow? 
then I would kill the arrow, and then it'd be Crobat and Crobat plus uh, one versus these two, which would give me free Blastoise switch in plus Rock type. I think I want to do that. All right, well, I think this is one of their last chances to crit me. This should be hidden hard grass always into the relicanth. Don't worry. EQ. Okay, I think I'm not dead to crit here, but it's TBD. Okay, didn't find out. This should be hidden power grass. Okay, good. Excellent. Should kill. Okay. Oh. Um. We're gonna turn some counts, okay? I get my stitches buried now, because now I'm defense boosted. Like, basically, Mence is always going Blastoise here, is the thing. On the Ice Shard. I think I'm supposed to switch here, though. Unless. Oh, what I need to know is, is Mence in range of Cray Crobat attacks? Uh, Salamence is not in range of an attack. If it goes for an attack, it's going for Sky Attack. So there should be Sky Attack into either slot, right? But it's always it's always Ice Shard into the Mence, I think. This goes Blastoise always, right? Blastoise does not have shell armor in this game. The question is, what is Caesar doing? Because I could I could just kill the Articuno as well, but I'm risking crit, right? I think what I want to do is position properly. Like, this is never Jiga Drain, right? It's either Poison Fang or... I got Reggie Swim here. Should we Ice Shard? Okay, into Blastoise. Can't freeze me. The question is, what is this doing? Because it might be Sky Attack into either Mon. Oh, good switch by me. Okay, great switch by your boy. Okay, Chris. So now what do I do here? Um, this is always double grass move into Reggie Swim, right? Jiga Drain crit never kills me, and it's always Jiga Drain HP grass here, right? So what I can do is, oh, actually, I think this is checkmate because I can fake out here. I could surf, but that risks another crit, so and then switch to Berloom because Red uh, Relicanth can't take any more damage than it already has. Oh wait, could it ever be hit in Power Ground here? Hang on, I gotta help that. Does Berloom even take? Berloom takes less damage from in Power Ground, so it doesn't actually matter. Um, I don't want to go Caesar. I want to go Berloom here. I want to fake out with Blastoise, and I want to go Berloom. The reason is that this still baits a kill next turn, which lets me set up properly. This should kill. Please kill. It's close, but I think it always gets it because I'm brave. All right, last mod. It should be Jiga Drain onto the Relicant slot. Jiga Drain, okay. Don't crit me. Okay, I still have 34 HP left. So now Berloom is baiting um, either Poison Fang or... Like, Berloom is basically the left slot is protecting me here. Sky Attack's max damage is 91. I'm at 99. So if I go into... Uh, Blastoise goes Mence here because it's not baiting any attacks. And Berloom is baiting either Poison Fang or Sky Attack. So I always go Golem here to bait the Giga Drain. It could be Poison Fang here as well. Sky Attack is Golem. Okay. That did a lot, given this Intimidated. Okay, and now Salamence versus Crobat. This is a single battle. Rock Slide to guarantee two shots, so I Rock Slide here. The question is, I need to switch something into a Giga Drain here. Um, Scissor's not in range of, of anything, but the question is, so like, if the situation is, it lives one Rock Slide, right? So then what happens next turn, chat? Because I'm still I'm still dead to a crit. You should Ice Punch last turn? Ice Punch is 35%. I would have been in a worse position. Back to Golem? Okay, but then, like, they can, the thing is that I don't have a guaranteed attack there. It can crit either either slot. Rock Slide Switch to Scissor gets me through this turn. What happens next turn? Yeah, Scissor. Okay, Rock Slide Switch to Scissor. Scissor goes Blastoise, and then Mence goes into a Rock type, and then Ice Punch for the kill, right? Yeah, that's what I'll do. Rock Slide and Switch to Scissor, because this is guaranteed Giga Drain. I can't fake out its inner focus, probably. The issue is that I don't actually know if Ice Punch kills. Ah, it probably does. After another Sky Attack, it will, right? Because this is almost guaranteed a Sky Attack. Give me the crit. Okay, it's definitely a range of Ice. It might not be a range of Ice Punch here. Um, so Menace goes into Golem here, right? Because it's, it's always Sky Attack or Poison Fang. And then Caesar goes into Blastoise, I think. 
question is I don't think this thing is an ice punch range, but it's still okay. It should be a sky attack. Okay, good. That's a recoil into the golem. Unlucky. Don't crit me. Do not crit me. Do not crit me. Okay, didn't crit me. That was lucky. Um, this is guaranteed Giga Drain, so I go Mence here to get another Intimidate down. I'm gonna go Caesar. Um, I go Mence. Ice punch, right? Blastus is not in range of Giga Drain. There's no way, right? Does max damage, 56 damage. I'm never in range. So I have Ice Punch. I'll switch to either Mence for the Giga Drain. Or Hidden Power Ground. Nice. It's in her, it's in her focus. Yeah, I can't, I can't figure it out. So this is Golem into Mence. And then Ice Punch, I think. Kill. Air Code the Giga Drain. It's, it's always Giga Drain in the Golem slot, so I can't Air Code it. Should be Giga Drain. I reduce re uh, healing. Ice Punch should kill from here. It does like 30%, and that's about like 27, 28%, 26%. Come on, Blaster is playing us home. <sighs> Let's go. Let's go. Zero deaths, Winona. Let's absolutely go. Oh, so stressful. I had to risk a couple crits there. Oh my god, that was so scary. That was like four hours of prep. Because I played that game, there was, I had to prep for all three scenarios there. Like, there were three split paths that I have to have answers for with, with my six Pokemon. Yeah, like, oh, this was, there was so much, I don't know if I explained it fully, but there was so much prep. Like, I had to pre-damage Breloom to guarantee Flamethrower so I could actually switch in Reggie's him and not take a Dragon Claw. Oh man, that was so difficult. I literally just, like was up till 1 a.m. last night planning this because like it wasn't like if it had all if I had guaranteed switches, it would have been a bit easier, but I didn't have guaranteed switches. Like it could have the whole pacing of that game could have been super different.